you can hear the metal actually kind of like scraping against the fixture of the screw and the fixture body because the tolerances are that tight. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the second episode of our little Maker Remix Fender mini series here. We have a brand new product today to show you guys. This was sent over to us for free by Ken Robertson to check out from Robertson Custom Creations. And he actually wrote us a little note it says, this is one of my Galvo laser fence sets. Please check it out and send me any feedback you have, positive or negative. You can include it in a few tools videos if you wish, but I'd mainly appreciate your feedback. I have them listed available on my own site, Etsy, and on the Laser Everything Marketplace. That's the Maker Remix Marketplace now. We've had these for a little while. I currently have them listed for $34.99, but may be lowering the price a bit as I continue to tweak the production cycles. And then he lists a couple web addresses here and he actually signed it, Ken. So thanks Ken for sending these over for us to check out. This is the high density fixture plate by Blackwell Engineering, which are gonna be using to demo a lot of these kind of fixture things that we are going to be checking out in this mini series. And the very first piece that I wanna show you guys here is actually his business card jig. The jig stands 10 millimeters high and it has 50 millimeter spacing between the M6 screw holes there. So this should work with the the vast majority of stock laser beds, as well as a high density fixture plate, like this one from Blackwell Engineering or the one that we have on the marketplace from Silent Manufacturing. And it's easy enough to use. We'll simply locate some threaded holes and we will grab our M6 screws here. Again, really nice screws came in this set here. And we're just gonna grab our wrench. And these actually take a four millimeter wrench. Normally it'd be a five millimeter wrench. These take four, but that's fine and we'll screw this down into Matt's plate here. We'll go ahead and tighten that up really quick. There we go. And as you can see, it's nice and secure. And we'll check a business card out on this in a few seconds. But first, I haven't even opened this yet. It's brand new. He actually sent me a couple, so I've been playing with these on the side, but we do have a brand new pack of them, which we're gonna be checking out now. So let's go ahead and get this open, packaged really nicely. Definitely aluminum, nice and lightweight. And let's check out the spread. So this kit, I believe he was saying was $34.99 and it comes with a bunch of pieces. So it looks like we've got two right angles. We've got a cross fixture there. And then we have a couple fences of variable lengths. And he did of course include a nice additional little pack of M6 machine screws here for us. So we can go ahead and get this screwed in as well. These are M6 by 10 screws, and they do of course fit perfectly right into the fence as you would expect them to. The long fence here that we're screwing in now is 164 millimeters long. The medium here just below it is 114. And these short ones here are 64 millimeters. So you have a nice range of lengths there that you can use to get the job done. And of course, these are nice and snug. The tolerances are very, very tight. So it's definitely not going anywhere. One thing I will point out is like this cross fixture right here. We actually can't on this high density one, just barely can't get that to make a solid connection between the two, which is okay. I wouldn't really expect that. We can maybe just barely get a kitty corner. But if we're trying to make direct contact between two ends of a fence, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit too tight with this spacing to do that. That said, not a big deal. I didn't expect this to be engineered for a high density plate like this. And that's not something you'd often have to do anyway. If you really needed some kind of angle to connect to on that point, you could use something like these 90 degree fences that he does include with the kit. And of course, guys, as tight as these tolerances are, it is made out of 6061 aluminum. So they are nice and lightweight, easy to store and put away. So you don't have them just floating about when you don't need them right away for something that you're actively working on. So 6061 aluminum, very standard, very nice choice to mill these out. If you can hear the metal actually kind of like scraping against the fixture of the screw and the fixture body because the tolerances are that tight. Once you get these in, we really want that consistency and reliability when we're fixturing things up, especially long-term when we're doing those large batch jobs. 
So I grabbed some business cards real quick to show you guys how well this business card jig holds these. So let's test some tolerances. This is a standard 0.2 millimeter thick aluminum business card that you would get off like Amazon. And we're just gonna slide it in. And there we go, it's definitely got some wiggle room. So you're gonna wanna corner it up if you do. Obviously the manufacturing on these is kind of all over the place. So you're going to see variances in the size of your cards and that's to be expected. I'm expecting some of these other cards that we brought over to test to actually be a bit thicker because of the way they're coated. So this is a painted 0.2 card. There's a little bit of wiggle room in there, but that's okay. Every time you pop one in, you just pick a corner like the lower left here and corner it up and you shouldn't have any issues. The next one we have is a 0.8 millimeter thick painted card. These are my favorites. They're almost a dollar a piece. They're very expensive, but they're very nice. And we'll slide that one in and about the same amount of play that the 0.2 has, which is a little surprising. I expected the thicker coating on this to be a little bit tighter, but it's still just a little bit loose. Again, not a huge problem. The variance here isn't massive and you can just go ahead and pick a corner and corner it up. Just make sure you're cornering up to the same corner every time. Time. Last but not least, just to mix things up, I did grab one of our stainless steel business cards that we have here, and I wanted to see how this would do, and we'll pop that in. And this one's actually just a bit too tall. So this one I cannot seem to get in. And there is some wiggle back and forth there as well along the horizontal axis. So this is going to be a no-go for me on this one. I would just end up going with something like one of these 90 degree fixtures here. And you could easily corner it up just like that. And that solves that problem as well. So while it's nice to have the four sides on it, having the fences there as a backup is a great alternative. So there it is guys again we're using the high density xl fixture plate from blackwell engineering really really great for demoing this stuff and the fence and business card kit are from robertson custom creations again links to all of his shops down in the description especially the maker remix one please definitely go check that out we spent a lot of time putting together the Maker Remix market for you guys. And Ken is one of our earliest supporters over there. So go show him some love, pick up a fence kit from him. He said in his note, they were $34.99, but the price may have come down since then. I don't have it in front of me right this second, so I can't double check that. But either way, a steal. I would definitely recommend these no matter what. The machining is just, beautiful and while we did have a little bit of tolerance issues on these cards again you can't expect these to be perfect for everything because the manufacturing tolerances on the things like the cards are variable and kind of all over the place because they are from amazon so not a shock having the fences are a great backup it's a really great kit Ken, thank you for sending these to me to check out. I really appreciate the opportunity to play with them and they're gonna get a lot of use here at the shop. Again, links to everything down in the description. Thanks so much for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one.